Hi guys, in this video we're going to take apart the Technics Compact Disc Changer. So, let me just give you a quick overview at the front, view of the front rather. MASH, multi stage noise shaping. Okay, whatever. Nothing on the back, just class 1 laser product, model number blah 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 plus 10 volts 4 watts Matsushita Electric Industrial Co Limited <laughs> Matsushita uh, what a name yep same five screws on this one to undo so uh, let's get under the cover I'll just uh, ah, maybe the battery's a bit too high but that's all I've got at the minute Still using the battery. In case you're wondering, I am filming these one after the other. <laughs> oh. Big tin like that and I went and missed. stay on the floor now till I stand on it anyway. Then I'll go and stand on it and then I'll start swearing. If I can see it I'll pick it up there it is. Because I've got no shoes on so that will hurt if I stand on it. There we go. Do what I did to the other one. Fold the sides down. Sides down, not the sides. See, this is the other hint that I knew my that this stereo system did work. Uh, there's CDs. <laughs> my friend was using it. Right. I'm not going to get them buggers out of there. Ah, so the CD stack. One, two, three, four. Ah. That's the one that plays then. Right. So, other than the DVD deck, it looks like the only circuit board we have in here is at the side here with the connector right on the back. Uh, I only need to take that one screw out. I don't need to take these bottom ones out. That just takes the back panel off and I don't need that off. Right, I'm going to pop you back on here then. Three screws holding the front panel on. No, there isn't. Get the front panel off out of the way so we can get to all the buttons as well. What's holding that on there? Uh, uh, that one? Alright, so that's all off. There's something really got a hold of this one. I can't see. Yeah. There we go. Bit of brute force. <laughs> Bit of brute force that goes a long way. Well. ribbon cable because we don't need that on there. And I've done that. You're going to tell me it unplugs from this end, don't you? Yeah. Uh, where's my cable bag? Let me go in there. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is take this metal plate off. It says. And I'm going to take the um, motor on the front then. Yeah, I do apologise, my voice went a bit squeaky for some reason. It does that now and again. <laughs> my 
weren't expecting that. Um, so... One, there's two. There's Gibby. What we got? Complete club land. Um, I don't know what that was. 2004. Guns and Roses. Ooh. Right. What are the other two bottom ones? Anthems, Electronic 80s, Disc 3 and Disc 2, be decent ones, no, we'll just get the one that's stuck in the um, actual section that plays it, I think that's what that is, yeah, because it looks like over the back here it's just the storage, and that's just two screws, we have one screw there and one the other side and I think that should just lift up I don't know if I'll keep all the screws but it's certainly handy just to uh, put them over like that out of the way I'm trying to get it out in one piece because I don't want to make a mess. Is this a sensor or something? It looks like a sensor to me. It's not going to be a motor because the CD is sitting on the motor bit. Pull that cable off gently. Get, don't make me get medieval on you. Come on. Bloody will come off. There we go. Yeah. I've got no idea. Hang on. <coughs> the end of that was sharp. took everything off my bin so I could actually get to it. Right, so what have we got there? Clubland Smashed 2. Yep. Oh, I've made my finger bleed. Or my thumb bleed, I should say. Never mind. It's only a little cut. Oh, wrong screw. actually screwed to the chassis. Is that possibly some sort of mozzie? As it's screwed, obviously as a using the chassis as a heat sink, I would have thought. There we go, another cable. A ribbon cable. Cut that one. Solid to the board. Right, let's get the screw out of that. Okay. What's holding it? Ah, very clever. Very, very clever techniques. I had a little metal tab that was acting as a hook to keep it in place as well. Well built, just um, techniques are. Well built. Now, uh, let's get front panel off. And there's the same tabs here. There's one there that I've got to bend. One there. And, uh, 
to the other side and that should lift straight off. So there we go, I'll show you these better in a moment. only see two screws holding the actual CD deck in so one one opposite just looked across at the PC and it looks like my sister's writing the essays <laughs> something I'll dismantle probably later. That's more metal to go on the trailer. Right. Bits of wire like that I don't need. That can go in my wire bag. I'm going to pick you up. Not much in the way of circuitry in this one. Well, I do believe there's a board under there. Oh, there's two under there. Obviously got the CD control board, and then got one there with a motor on it. Got all the uh, I'd love to know how it actually worked. That plays the CD. So you obviously load them in. This obviously picks them up from here somehow. Because that was in two sections: two above, two below. And uh, some sort of, oh, it's a switch of some sort, obviously to tell it something. <laughs> Probably position of a CD, because it was a cross over plastic frame like that, so it might, might have been a position sensor. What have we got here? Not a lot on here, actually. Anything on the other side? We've got a couple of ICs on the back here. They seem to be the only item so far that I found that are um, surface mount. Everything else is through hole. See? All the little transistors, all the capacitors, all the resistors, jumper wires, which there seems to be a heck of a lot of. I wonder why that's like that with this. It's on its own separate little uh, circuit board there. Why don't they just solder that straight to the board? I wonder why they did it like that. Hmm. How strange. Here's the um, board with all the buttons and controls on and fancy LEDs. If you want to salvage momentary switches, there's a hell of a lot on here. <laughs> Anyway, that will get chucked in my drawer with the others ready to, uh... Well, actually, I think I may actually just bin these ones because there's nothing on here I really want to salvage or that's worth salvaging. I mean, this thing I can just... probably snap it off like that. Just leave it on the little circuit board for now and take it off as and when and if I ever need it. That'll actually snap. It should do. Yep, yeah, two of them are gone. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Don't want anything else. LEDs, no point. They're cheap as anything to sell, um, to buy. Anyway, as you always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and like, comment and subscribe and uh, I'll talk to you again in the next video. I think the last section to take apart is the tape deck so uh, stay tuned for that one. <laughs>